This demonstration will show you how to perform rapid code iteration using cells in the editor. Let's say we wanted to create an algorithm to add these two images together and display the result. Let's first look at how this will be done by entering commands at the command window. Then we will look at how this is done using cells in the editor. If we were using the command window, we would start by reading in the images. and displaying them. We could then switch to using the editor as our algorithm became more complex. Let's look at how this is done using cells in the editor. This way can allow rapid code iteration and it makes it easier to convert to working with your algorithm as an M file. First open a new editor window. To enable cell mode in the editor, click here. In cell mode, a second toolbar appears, providing additional buttons to navigate and execute sections of your code. Let's start by entering commands. First, let's run all the code. We do not have to save it to an M file, we can just click here. It can be more convenient to dock figures into the desktop when working in cell mode, so that they are always visible. To remove the units on the axes and ensure the axes are square, we need to add some additional commands. We can then run it all again. We will make this window bigger too. And re-execute. To work effectively in cell mode, your code needs to be divided into cells. It's usually best if cells consist of small sections of code performing one task. Cells are separated by double comment percent markers. These can be entered either by clicking here or by just typing double percent. The editor highlights this code in yellow as it is now the current cell. You can optionally add a title to the cell which is highlighted in bold to clearly identify it. Let's now create more cells. To execute the contents of the current cell, you click here. Alternatively, you can just press Control Enter on the keyboard. In this way, we can navigate around our M code, executing the cells independently, and perhaps working on one cell for a while, then moving on to the others. Let's enter some more cells. Let's look at the second image again by clicking here and pressing Control Enter. Now we can compare it with the scaled image. Once again we press Control Enter. You can iterate through a range of values in an expression. This can be useful in finding the optimum value or to quickly simulate a for loop. First highlight the constant value you wish to manipulate. Next set the multiplying value 
are the increment value, which we will set here to 0 0.1. Now you can click on the minus plus or divide times buttons on the toolbar to increase or decrease the highlighted constant and re-execute the cell. Here we see the constant value has increased by 0 0.1 and the image has brightened. We can repeat until the value is as we wish. We will now insert a cell with the code to add the images and display the result. We can run this cell using Control Enter as before. Here we see the final combined image. We can execute each cell one at a time and continue on to the next cell by clicking here. Or by just pressing Control Shift Enter. We can jump to a particular cell by clicking here. If you are happy with your algorithm, you can save it to an M file to continue working on later. It can now be run from the command window, another M file, or from here. And finally, with your code in the form of cells, you can automatically publish it to HTML, Word or other formats by clicking here. See the publishing from the editor demonstration for more information. That concludes the demonstration. You can try these examples in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.